Hey everybody, big welcome back to another perverted adventure on my channel as we go peeping tomming with a drone in a department building. What a better way is there to come out and find naked people and whatever. I'm joking. This is an empty building. It's been uh, abandoned for a while now and I wanted to check it out. So this was a low income housing project along the uh, shores of the Hamilton Harbor or Hamilton Bay in Hamilton, Ontario. And my understanding originally was that they were going to sell it off for like to a condominium developer or something. They had said that it was too costly to repair. And so they were going to, they were going to sell it off. They basically kicked everybody out. And now I just before, doing this video, I decided to Google um, and take a look and I see that they're actually going to invest $15 million into fixing up this property. And there's some townhouses that are at the base of it. Um, I don't really know how much of a good view you get from this video, but you probably see them anyway. And this day, I got to say, this was like these birds kept harassing the hell out of me with the drone, um, guessing they didn't like it. This was actually long lost footage. This was from the spring um, or winter even actually. And I, uh, I didn't know where the footage was, but anyways, I found the SD card with it. So I thought I might as well use it up, show you guys the uh, building. It's kind of just a pretty much a, just a raw video of flying around, try to get closer so we can look in and see what's actually in the apartments. And I would never do this to like, you know, an actual apartment building where people lived. But the strange thing about this building, and it's been a while since I checked, but if you drive down there at night, there's one apartment that has the lights on. And it's like up on like the 8th or 10th floor or something like that. And uh, I was actually wanting to go back and fly the drone at night because then you'd really be able to see in. I was running into a problem this day with that it was so bright and sunny that we we're just getting mostly reflections, but... Hopefully, um, by the time I watch it back, actually, on my TV or something, I maybe kind of see what's going on. I was curious, though, like, you know, when the building went empty, if they, um, you know, did everyone take all their stuff or all the units actually empty? Or is this one of those things where, you know, kind of like when you see people get evicted and they just kind of ditch all the crap. And, and anyway, I noticed that the blinds were left in a lot of units. I didn't really find any information on if they got any payout or anything like that. So if there's anyone local that's got any more to the backstory, I'd love to hear about it in the comments because like I would assume that if the people were told they had to move out, that maybe they were given some money or something. I'm not really sure. And it's, it's just such a weird situation because if you go to the building, all the power is still on. Um, there's like the, the front lobby, you know, the, you see all the fire panel and little memos for the residents, everything's still there as if it's a building that's lived in. There's, you know, garbage dumpsters. It's, it's really weird. The other weird thing is, is there's zero vandalism. Normally when a building goes empty, um, it doesn't take long before people, you know, find a way to break in and start wrecking it or whatever. And the several times that I've been there, just, you know, trying to take a peek, I've never seen any kind of vandalism, anything like that. No signs of anyone actually even getting into it, which realistically, I don't even imagine would be that hard because there's windows on the main floor. You know, people just pop a window open or whatever. I wouldn't do that. I'm just saying like, you know, that normally people would. Um, I noticed that the, uh, the windows are mostly closed. There was a couple that you could see are open, like there's one there um, and I noticed that walking around that a few windows were seeming to be in the open position now I'll say something a little bit controversial here and maybe you know some people are going to agree with me some people are not um, I, I do like the idea of social housing low-income housing for people that you know maybe need a hand they need um, you know whatever you know they've got something going on in life and they can't afford to pay market rent but I'm one of those people that I would have actually said, sell this building and build it somewhere else. I don't think that social housing should necessarily be like, you know, waterfront property. 
And I know I probably sound like a douchebag for saying that, but the facts are the facts is that, you know, desirable areas, let's just say on uh, the waterfront or we have like here, we have a Hamilton mountain, like, you know, it's called the mountain brow or whatever overlooking the city. And I kind of think that, you know, people that pay a lot for, for rent or for condos or whatever kind of deserve, you know, their, with what they're paying to have those kinds of views. And I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm all for making the housing nice. I just don't think that pretty much waterfront down on the, you know, by the, the redeveloped harbor and there's still more stuff going down there. I don't really think that it's appropriate for a city to be spending that kind of money on social housing that doesn't really generate that much revenue back. So it seems to be, and once again, I don't want to sound like a douche. I'm just saying kind of how I feel about it is though that taxpayers are basically paying to put people on a waterfront where other people have to work so hard to live. Um, you guys can give me your opinions. I don't know. Some of you might unsubscribe or whatever for me saying that. It's just, it's just how I feel though. If I work, you know, 12, 14 hours a day to be able to afford a nice place to live. The fact is some people abuse the system and I just... I think they should have a nice place to live. I just don't think it should be a waterfront place. That's all I'm getting at. You guys leave me in your comments. Do you agree? Maybe, you know, who knows? Some of you might agree. Some of you disagree, whatever. Um, I It was cool, though, to fly up there just to see what they've got up there. I see they got some satellite dishes and whatnot. Um, kind of, I was wondering about that. Like, it might be for cell phones or something, but I don't know. I was wondering, like, what the satellite dishes would be for, though. Um, hello, Mavic Reflection. Um, so there's a bit of a view in some apartments there. Um, those ones look pretty emptied out. And I see that they have a laundry room in that top room. But the weird thing was, though, as I'm closing the building, saying it was in such a state of disrepair, is it didn't actually seem that bad, to be honest. Like, not to me, anyway. Like, obviously, I don't know what the mechanical aspects of the building that they were referring to. Maybe, you know, maybe it's got bad plumbing or electrical. I'm not really sure. But anyway... Uh, glad I could finally use up this footage and that I found it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the little tour of the empty building and spying in apartment windows, which you should never do, but, uh, except for in a case like this. And, uh, leave your comments. If you hate me for what I said, that's cool. Let it down below. If, if you agree, let me know that. And, uh, we'll see you guys next time. And that's the townhouse apartment things or something there at the bottom I was saying. It's like apartments. I guess it's not really a townhouse. It's just apartments, but... Anyway, that's the uh, end of the video, guys, and we will see you guys next time.